Meet your maker tasks players with building and raiding in a post-apocalyptic world, with all levels designed by other players. In this first-person experience, players will shift between acting as a designer of an insidious trap-filled labyrinth, or as an infiltrator that enters other players' creations to gather pure genetic material to survive. Additionally, players can adjust their loadout to challenge dungeons however they see fit. Every death is just another lesson learned, revealing a new strategy each time. Finally, every successful raid attempt will give players new traps, weapons, and gear to reinforce their creations or improve their chances of success. The big selling point of Meet Your Maker is the creation of outposts, which players build for others to take on. These bases are built of giant cubes and are packed with death traps and guards, each element carefully designed by the outpost's owner to guard their genmat, which other raiders try to hunt. The more deaths in the outpost, the more rewards for the builder. Building the best outpost in Meet Your Maker requires playing with raider expectations, carefully planning block placements, and modifying traps and guards. Of course all outposts must allow their harvester to get to the gen mat and deliver materials, but since the harvester can travel over strange terrain, the best outposts include uneven floor plans and strange designs reminiscent of the player-made test chambers of Portal 2. Every burial site for outposts in Meet Your Maker starts with extra blocks already in place. If the natural terrain does not inspire you, get rid of the blocks. Otherwise, you will have less room to work with. Then with the harvester's path in mind, build walls and tunnels snaking through your outpost that raiders will have trouble traversing. As they navigate the outpost, raiders should come across a variety of traps in unique combinations. By building blind spots and drawing raiders' attention elsewhere, you can allow your traps to work together to catch intruders. The most dynamic aspect of any outpost in Meet Your Maker will be the inclusion of guards. When building an outpost, players can craft the path of the guards' AI and force raiders to study their movements. Guards can also be static and only move when they spot a raider. All guards should be spaced across vast areas to present extra challenges to raiders. The next item is adding mods to traps and guards. For an extra layer of difficulty and originality in an outpost, guards and traps can be modified. Each trap and guard can have two mods equipped at once. These mods can improve the effectiveness of the guard or trap's basic abilities. For example, the Death Piston Trap is excellent on its own, but can become a powerful barrier when equipped with Burning and Blockade. By experimenting with mods and trap combos, players can build some of the best outposts in Meet Your Maker. The next item is adding mods to traps and guards. For an extra layer of difficulty and originality in an outpost, guards and traps can be modified. Each trap and guard can have two mods equipped at once. These mods can improve the effectiveness of the guard or trap's basic abilities. For example, the Death Piston Trap is excellent on its own, but can become a powerful barrier when equipped with Burning and Blockade. By experimenting with mods and trap combos, players can build some of the best outposts in Meet Your Maker. Always have the path cleared for the Harvester to move easily. The game doesn't allow you to block the Harvester's path, so make sure you leave ample room for it to move around. That being said, you don't need to have a straight and clear path to your gen mat. Use slopes and rises, twists and turns and dips and corners to take the raiders on a journey. You can also paint the blocks for aesthetic purposes. We recommend using the glowing light ones to distract players from hidden traps. Meet Your Maker allows you to build your own outpost however you like. You can create an open level player that can jump around the world. You can build a dark tunnel that shoots arrows at attackers. There is a build limit to control everyone's creativity. We recommend using elements of the level in your build. The blocks that are already in place don't count towards the build limit, allowing more room for traps and guards in your outpost. Don't forget to close off paths so raiders can't jump out of the death maze you build. If you love building in Fallout 76, you'll be right at home. Traps are great, but hidden traps are effective and great. Traps that are in the open can easily be destroyed by the raiders, so, make sure you at least hide them behind blind spots to get the most out of them. Sure you can have some of them as bait, especially because ammo is so scarce in the game. However, traps that either use blind spots, darkness, or are hidden behind the holocube are the best way to kill enemies. Be creative and don't let your traps be easy resource drops for your foes. Hidden ones make you feel like Teemo from League of Legends, and it's nefarious. There are 9 total traps in Meet Your Maker, and we've ranked them all. Some are great at killing enemies, while others provide crowd control utility. Not all traps are amazing, especially in their basic state. Adding mods to the traps makes them more deadly and useful. Some traps can be modded to only appear in the second wave. 
The second wave starts when the raider has successfully obtained gen mat from the outpost. Some mods allow the trap to activate twice before depleting. Experiment with the mods and see which ones suit your build better. It might be tempting to put all your guards in a big room and let them destroy the raider. That isn't such a bad idea, but if you have any traps in the room, it's going to be a bad time. There is no friendly fire protection, so your traps can kill off your guards. Traps like the bomb ejector are notorious for damaging the guards and other traps with their splash damage. Instead of having the same type of guard in an area, mix things up and have two or three different ones. You can make guards patrol certain areas by tracing a path for them in build mode. You take control of the guard, and wherever you move, the patrol will follow that path. This is a great way to make sure your guards are not easy pickings from afar. A patrolling guard is harder to hit, and can catch a raider by surprise. Having different types of guards can add to the complexity of the outpost puzzle. Combine patrols with outpost design, and you have a recipe for murder, which in this game is a great thing. Some traps are fairly harmless like the corrosive cube, which is just a static cube that kills anyone that touches it. Pretty easy to avoid if the raiders are looking where they are going. Now combine the corrosive cube with an iron claw that grabs and yanks a player, and you have a combo trap. Combo traps are a great way to ensure you have a steady supply of raider bodies to loot. Combine holocube with other traps to make a deadly cocktail. Or use impaler to distract the player while the bolt shot shoots arrows at them. The possibilities are endless in Meet Your Maker. Some traps like the bolt shot and impaler can be modded to activate once the raider has the gen mat. Some mods are better than others, but the second wave activation is always a welcome one. This mod makes the trek back outside equally dangerous for the raider. This also means you can catch them unaware and make short work of their run. Always have a couple of traps ready to be activated during the second wave in the raid. Complex designs are great, but they can be confusing for the raiders. Some may simply give up after one or two deaths and not give you more resources. So make sure you keep the difficulty at reasonable levels. Remember, raiders have access to plenty of offensive and defensive items. The items in their arsenal can take down multiple traps in one go with a well-placed grenade. Or use the shield to absorb lethal damage for a couple of seconds. Make your outpost fun to play, and you'll have dozens of deaths in no time. The best way to check out your murder box is to play it yourself. We spotted a couple of traps that destroyed others or killed guards looking at you bomb ejector. So play your creation at least once to fine-tune its performance. Make sure everything is working right, the traps are activating when they should, and the guards are patrolling the right way. Also, ensure there are no shortcuts to the gen mat. Nothing is worse than a raider jumping above the level and getting away with stealing your gen mat.